Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, I'm sick. Yes, I'm sick. And my trunk is opening. I just hit the trunk button with my foot. Are you kidding me? I'll be right back. I'm really sick. I'm sitting in the doctor's office parking lot right now. They've quarantined me to my car. They said that when uh, they're ready for me, they'll call me in, take me straight back. I have to wear a mask, gloves, the whole bit into this doctor's office, which is fine. I understand that. I would want somebody to do that too. Probably two days ago, I started to ache and all over. I mean, just ache like... Uh, it hurt when I walk. My hips hurt. I have back pain and I hurt already anyway, but this was different. I ached like I couldn't walk. I mean, I ached that bad. And that went on for a little while and I'm thinking through the day and I'm thinking, well, what's, what's wrong with me? I, I don't know. But I just, assuming it was my back pain, just I must have strained myself or something. We had a load of cow manure in our, in the bed of our truck. I don't know. There's a video, the cow poo video. Well, we had to take that over to my mom and dad. So we took it over there. Now, mind you, I'm thinking that this is just my back pain. I, I figured I did something because I took like four shovels full of this cow manure and I put it in a little flower pot I had and I thought well maybe I strained myself when I did that well as the day went on now mind you I'm at my parents house and my parents are like 80 and my dad is on oxygen for other reasons and he's not healthy I started to have a sore throat my throat just started hurting like I mean, like immediately my throat started hurting and I said, oh, I don't think I feel very good. And we were all outside. So I went in the house and I laid on the couch and my mom came in and I said, I'm getting sick. We need to go right now. I need to get, I need to get out of your house. I need to get, I need to just get away from you guys. So I got in my truck and just sat in there while my husband finished up. I came home and I took my temperature. See, it hurts to swallow now. I mean, does it hurt? I took my temperature and it was probably then maybe a hundred. And I'm thinking, oh crap, here I am at my mom and dad's and we've been trying to stay away from them as much as possible. Cause we don't want to get my dad sick. We've been so worried about getting my dad sick. And here I am over there like an idiot. So that night, my temperature went up to 101.8. That was the highest it had got that night, or that's the highest, highest it's been. So I was taking, um, I forget what I was taking. I was taking um, like a Theraflu nighttime through the night and drinking, making sure I drank a whole, the whole bunch of water at the same time and I had Gatorade and stuff so through the night my throat even got worse I mean it swelled I'd put a picture in here right here but I don't want to gross you guys out so it swelled huge I mean just huge so I was up and down the whole night through taking making sure to take my temperature and it just kept going up and down and up and down and when I would take time and all it would come down a little bit but I, I felt terrible chills and just the aching oh boy did I ache I mean it's like a different kind of ache so then I slept the whole next day same thing went on the whole next day taking my temperature and just all of that good stuff so now it's I called my doctor on Monday and they said come in Tuesday 11 o'clock so I'm sitting in my doctor's parking lot in quarantine in my car waiting to be called in and it's just my throat I'm telling you even my glands are so sore my neck is swollen it's just all 
I just don't, I don't feel good at all. So hopefully we'll figure out what's going on with me. I'm hoping he just says, you have strep throat, you're fine. Well, not fine, but you don't have that other business that's going around the world today. But we'll see what he says when I go in there. I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know when I come out what he tells me to do. I don't even know. My daughter's a nurse. I called her about getting the testing done. Should I? What should I do? Should I go to the emergency room? Because I know they don't want you just to walk in. She works at one of our local hospitals. So she said, Mom, just wait. Don't go to the emergency room right now. Because they'll just put you on the floor. And then they'll test you from there. You don't want to do that because you don't have it. So... I followed my daughter's advice and waited and called. So I'll let you know what happens when I get out of there. All right, I'm back in the car. The doctor said he will put me on an antibiotic. My COVID test is tomorrow at 11.15. There's a testing site near, near me, so I'm gonna go do that tomorrow. Well, I'm home now. I feel awful. I'm freezing again and I'm tired and that just wore me out going to the doctor like that. So I will keep you informed. Come back. Maybe I'll make a video on the testing, what it's like. I'll do that maybe. All right, look at me, I look like crap, but you know what, come back. Go watch my banana video. It's pretty funny. I'll see you next time.